Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is the last Singapore video I'm gonna be making. It's my last day. Last night, I went to dinner with my good friends and they gifted me this beautiful box of grapes from Ishikawa Prefecture in Japan. Now these grapes are called Ruby Roman and these grapes are very rare and expensive. I personally have never eaten it ever in my life because they're so expensive even in Japan the price here is double triple the price of Japan but I was gifted this beautiful box of Ruby Roman grapes and I am ecstatic I'm so excited I have to film this whole experience because I mean this is so special right it's so special so just to let you know you can find these grapes sometimes when it's in season at Isetan in Singapore, I believe currently that the best produce from Japan or maybe the best produce in Singapore can be found at Isetan. It is pricey. It is, everything is more on the expensive side, but uh, they are super, super good quality. All right, so I'm going to be opening these grapes right now. This beautiful, beautiful packaging. Ruby Roman from Ichikawa Prefecture. Ishikawa Prefecture. Okay, let me open this up. Now, I asked my friend how much this would sell at Isetan, and he said this would probably go for about 300, like 380, 390 Singapore dollars, which is like, you know, 390 US dollars. It's quite expensive. Uh, they were picked like maybe the day before or the day day before. So um, they are super super fresh. You get them at the best condition. Wow. Okay. Oops. Okay, look at that. I'm telling you guys, this is heavy. This looks incredible. Look at it. Oh, look at it. The fact that I am eating a bunch of ruby Roman grapes by myself in Singapore is like a it's like a dream it's like a fantasy i mean is this really happening i can't believe it and big big shout out to my friends here in singapore you know who you are thank you thank you so much for this special special experience okay so let's get started so this is one grape i'm gonna start off with here we go itadakimasu Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me let me pop one more into my mouth before I say anything. First of all, first of all, it is very big. It's a very big sphere of delicious fruit. It is incredibly juicy. As soon as you bite into the grape, it just spurts out all that fruity, grapey goodness into your mouth. And the grape flavor, is, it's sweet, but it's not cloyingly sweet. It has like a re very refreshing sweetness, I guess. And then, that the, the flavor of the grape lingers in your mouth even after it's swallowed even after it's down your throat and in your stomach like right now you know i'm talking but i do this and the flavor is still in my mouth it is so fragrant and it is so beautiful Whew. all right let's eat one more mm. Mm. That's what it looks like. Look at that. Mmm. Look at all that juice. 
I know some of you guys right now, your, moder your mouth is watering at this very moment. I don't blame you. Hmm. Thank you so much for this experience. And finally, Jean. And finally, Jean, the connoisseur of Japanese fruits in general. This is what she thought of the Ruby Roman. This one, so this is the most expensive grape in the world. It's called Ruby Roma from Ishikawa Prefecture. Yeah. Thank you, grape. Thank you for your life. I'm eating you down. <laughs> Why so? I think she's crying. <laughs> Pro tip. One, don't open your mouth. Two, don't breathe. After after this. First impression, the texture is not mushy. It's it's crunchy, it's juicy. A little bit fibrous. Peel. Thick but crunchy, it adds to the flavor of the flesh. Third impression, when it mingles together, you go like, what is this? Finally, the aftertaste. It's, I really shouldn't be talking now. <laughs> I guess I have to finish all this by myself. This is incredible. Thank you so much. This is going to be my dinner for tonight. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna ruin the experience by eating something else. This is my dinner. This is, this costs probably more than everything I ate in Singapore combined. Uh, so once again, thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys. <laughs> Alright guys, anyway, I, I, I have to share this whole experience with you guys. I could not eat this alone in silence by myself. I mean, you know, that's like, that's like unthinkable. Have you guys ever tried Japanese fruit before? Have you tried these premium Japanese fruits in Japan before? Or, or in Singapore or wherever you are, you know, there may be Japanese fruits. What was the most delicious fruit you've eaten in your entire life? Let me know in the comments down below. If you are ever in Japan during grape season, I recommend you definitely try the grapes. Even if you cannot try the Ruby Roman, because once again, these are rare. We do have we do have other types of grapes. You can find Shai Muscato, you can find Kyoho of course, and you can find a, a variety of grapes in season. They are delicious. Even the ones you buy at the regular supermarket, it doesn't have to be the high-end places like Isetan or Senbikia. You can just go to somewhere like I know Samito or even Seiyu for that matter and their fruits should taste pretty good. Alright guys, this was a very short video. I just had to share this experience with you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you next time in Japan for my next video. See you guys next time. Bye bye.